up why this figure exists is his combined super robot mode. And really, this is just as much of a brick, if not more, than the uh, Armada Optimus Prime. But I still like this a lot, a lot, a lot. You pretty much just transform the, the cab back into a cab, then flip this up, and this drops in from the top. Put his head on. And here's the other difference from Power Master Prime that they changed when they made the Genrai mold. The hands retract. And I keep calling him Genrai. He's not Genrai anymore. Whenever you combine him, he is actually Super Genrai. So you give him his uh, smokestacks on his arms. Give him his cannons back, his uh, rifles, and he is pretty much done. This is what you would have had if you'd have had the G1 Power Master Prime. You know, just about, except for you know all the, the die cast and everything. Then they went the extra mile and included this guy in with the mix. This is, like I said, God Bomber. And he's a parts farmer. He, they, he doesn't actually transform. You just take him apart and put him back together the way that you want him. And this was 1987, I think, whenever this was done. Uh, let's see if I can find a date on it. But you've got all these little bits and pieces of robot that you have to reassemble into this guy right here. Just flip his feet out. That's the only really fancy thing that changes on him. So put this down. You can do it either way. You can put it to where the trailer sides are out. I like to put it with the blue sides out so that it looks a little bit more transformed than just taking and throwing pieces together. I don't know. But uh, all this is going to snap back together. Put the cannon back on his shoulder. And that is God Bomber. And he stands nearly as tall as Jin Rai. So, that's all good. You know, good they gave him a little buddy robot to hang out with. But in Master Force, they had something even better than Power Master Prime or Super Gen Rai. They had God Gen Rai, which is the combination of Gen Rai, uh, Super Gen Rai, and God Mag, oh, God Magnus, God Bomber. So just take all this apart and flip the feet back in. And let's see if I can remember just how this goes. You take this one right here that is labeled with an L, and that is for the left foot. Snap that in place right there on the bottom. This ridge is going to go into this gap right here. Because that's one thing I wanted to say. One thing I never did care for on uh, the Power Master Prime was the head looks so huge on his body. But a lot of that is because that was not supposed to be his, you know, his final thing. He was supposed to get bigger. So you've already got his legs extended. Take the guns out of his hands. And once again, these things are labeled. This one's L, so that's his left hand, I think. Yeah. Stick this over here. This right here that was uh, God Bomber's chest. 
is going to clip onto his back. And that's the only real weak thing is this right here that normally keeps the back panel from uh, flopping doesn't hold on very tight because of it not being able to lay down right there. And that's the only weak point of this. So once you get it to that point, you can take the little wings from God Bomber, stick them into these, pole, these holes on the side like this, take the nice chrome chest piece, and I'm always nervous about scratching something whenever I do this, but this just goes over the chest just like that. They have two pegs on the shoulder cannon for a uh, God Bomber. This one that goes on God Bomber, and then this small one on the side that just goes and rests right there. And man, uh, I'm just barely getting this on camera. Okay, so now this is the weirdest thing about this. These cannons go on his feet, which. They can't go on his shoulders anymore because this covers up the peg holes for that. And then you give, give him, give him his cannons back. And what I like to do, since I've got all of my G1 Primes guns still, I like to take his two cannons, and that doesn't seem right. That's right. And I clip them right here onto the front of the wings just to give an illusion of smokestacks. Which this is completely optional. Unless you have two of this guy, you can't do it. So you just give them a little spread, pose them as best you can, which which really isn't much because he is basically just the world's biggest, shiniest brick. And I don't mean that in a criticizing way because I love this figure. If my house was burning down, this is probably the figure I'd grab. So, anyway, that is... Power Master, Optimus Prime, God Jin Rai, whatever it is that you want to call him. But this is one of my two favorite Transformers ever. Y'all have a good day and take care. I'll see y'all next week with my 101st review.